I get a lot of coil questions and I usually answer if somebody says, you know, can I use different size wire? Can I use a different size pipe? Uh, things like that. Uh, I usually give a pretty generic answer about, well, yeah, you can, but if you're too far off, then you may be outside of the AM band and your crystal radio may not work well or it may not work at all. So I decided to prove to myself just how big a difference these pipes make. Uh, as far as form factors and winding and diameter and so on. Uh, also including how big of the wire is. So I use different size wire. This is 19 gauge, this is 19, this is 20, and this is 24 if I remember right. Over here we have 19, 10 turns, and I'm not using this one right here. So what I was doing is I was uh, putting in 10 turns on a given size, I was running the calculator and seeing what I got for measurement. And then I was comparing it to the actual measurement with the instrument here. Uh, I did that for this uh, two inch piece, uh, 60 millimeter, uh, for this 22 millimeter pipe. And again, the 10 turns, uh, 10 turns closely wound. This is 19 gauge, 10 turns loosely wound. This is 20 gauge, tightly wound 10 turns, and this is 24 gauge, 10 turns, tightly wound. And yeah, everything went well. I did the calculation and I compared it to the measurement. Everything's good, everything's good. Until, yeah, and here's where it comes. Until I got to this. This is a, what is this? This is a 15.75 millimeter pipe. It is an electrical conduit, it's plastic. Uh, the brand name is Clipsol. And yeah, I mean, I thought, okay, nothing special about this. I run the uh, calculator. So again, this is 19 tightly wound 10 turns, 20 uh, tightly wound and 24 gauge tightly wound and okay run the calculation then i measure it and in every one of these the measurement was one third of the calculation now these others were right on within the error of the calculator these were one third of the value and so finally i tracked it down to the plastic pipe the plastic pipe must have some filler in it that is interacting with the radio frequency uh, waves and yeah, di diminishing the, uh, the inductance of the coil. So it's one of those things where, yeah, calculators are great and uh, most of the time they are actually, but you know, then there's reality and this is why we experiment. This is why you gotta get your hands dirty is because you come across this and this pipe will not work. So if you're making a crystal radio and you grab one of these electrical conduits, I don't know what they're putting in the plastic. They're putting in some kind of a filler, but again, it's interacting with the radio waves and it, it won't work. So this is another way. So we found a few ways now that crystal radios won't work. I mean, they should be goof proof, but one of them is you can get the fake uh, diodes you can get the bad earphones and now I have found that if you use the wrong kind of pipe that you can get an inductor, a coil that doesn't work. So what I have found is the blue pipe, blue pipe works. I haven't found a piece of blue pipe yet that does not work. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, there's also the electrical conduit comes in yellow. Haven't tried that, but I would stay away from it. anything for electricity. I would stay away from. I think the black pipe that they use for sewers, I would stay away from it because they've got some kind of fillers in it, obviously, to, to make it extra tough and whatever. If it's glass fiber, it would probably work. If it's metal fibers, yeah, probably not. So again, just to be safe uh, when you're making coils, I would stick with the, the blue pipe. And you can also use other materials, glass, uh, you know, anything that's non-conductive. A clear plastic is good. Uh, anything like that, stay away from metals, and now stay away from these uh, electrical conduit plastic pipes. Okay, well that was it. Just kind of another public service announcement, and you know, hopefully it will keep people from having problems when they're making their crystal radios.